Admiral Zheng He, um, 1371 to 1433 or 1435, was a legendary Chinese explorer, diplomat, and naval commander during the Ming Dynasty. He is most famous for leading seven vast naval expeditions to various parts of Asia, the Middle East, and Africa between 1405 and 1433. These voyages, known as the Treasure Voyages, demonstrated the power and wealth of the Chinese Empire and extended its influence across the Indian Ocean. Early Life and Background Birth and Early Life Zheng He was born in 1371 in the Yunnan province of China to a Muslim family with Persian or Central Asian roots. His birth name was Ma He. Captured by the Ming Army as a boy, Ma He was captured by the Ming army after the defeat of a rebellious faction. Rise to power. Despite this harsh beginning, Ma He gained favor in the court of the future emperor, Yongle. The emperor recognized his intelligence, military skill, and loyalty, and eventually renamed him Zheng He in honor of his service. Zheng He's role in the Ming dynasty. Trusted advisor, Zheng He became a close confidant of Emperor Yongle, who ascended the throne in 1402 after a successful coup. The emperor tasked him with leading several naval expeditions to establish China's influence abroad and to display the empire's wealth and power. Naval commander was appointed Grand Eunuch and Admiral of the Ming Dynasty's fleet, a massive armada of ships that represented the pinnacle of Chinese maritime engineering and power. The Seven Treasure Voyages, 1405 to 1433. Zheng He commanded seven major expeditions between 1405 and 1433, reaching as far as the Middle East and the East Coast of Africa. These voyages were notable for the size and scale of the fleet, as well as their peaceful and diplomatic nature. Key features of the voyage. One, gigantic fleet. The fleet included more than 300 ships, some of which were known as treasure ships, the largest wooden ships ever built, measuring up to 120 meters, 400 feet long. These ships carried up to 27,000 sailors, soldiers, merchants, and diplomats. Number two, destinations. Zheng He's expeditions reached a wide array of locations, including Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, South Asia, India, Sri Lanka, the Arabian Peninsula, Yemen, Oman. East Africa, Somalia, Kenya, Tanzania, possibly as far as Madagascar. Number three, goals of the voyages to establish Chinese political and economic dominance over the maritime trade routes of the Indian Ocean, to strengthen relations with neighboring countries by exchanging gifts and tributes, to project Chinese power and influence across the Indian Ocean, showcasing China as a superpower of the time, to bring back goods and animals, including giraffes, zebras, and incense from Africa, which amazed the Chinese court. Number four, diplomatic relations. Zheng expeditions were largely peaceful. He engaged in diplomatic missions, securing alliances and tributes from foreign leaders. However, he also demonstrated military strength when necessary, such as during skirmishes with pirates or rebellious rulers. Significance of the voyages. Zheng He's voyages opened up a vast network of trade routes, strengthening China's dominance in the Indian Ocean and establishing diplomatic ties with many regions. His expeditions led to cultural exchanges with Chinese goods, technology, and influence spreading to many regions of the Indian Ocean Basin. The expeditions enhanced China's reputation as a wealthy, powerful empire. End of the voyages. After Emperor Yongle's death in 1424, the voyages continued for a brief time, but they were eventually discontinued due to political shifts in the Ming court. The new emperor and his advisors decided to focus on domestic issues and fortifying China's northern borders, leading to the cessation of the expensive maritime ventures. China's Withdrawal from Maritime Exploration After the death of Zheng He, around 1433, China gradually turned inward, and by the mid-15th century, the imperial government dismantled the naval fleets, ceased large-scale maritime exploration, and restricted foreign trade. Impact and historical importance. Diplomatic success. Zheng He's voyages established China's presence and dominance in the Indian Ocean, forging diplomatic relations with distant lands. Technological marvel. His fleet demonstrated China's advanced shipbuilding and navigational skills during the Ming Dynasty, with his enormous ships being the largest in the world at the time. Cultural and economic influence. 
the voyages resulted in a significant exchange of goods, ideas, and culture, connecting China with far-off lands in Africa, the Middle East, and Southeast Asia. Rediscovery of Zheng He Although Zheng He's achievements were largely forgotten in China during the centuries following his death, he was rediscovered by historians in the 20th century. Today, he is celebrated as a symbol of China's seafaring past and diplomatic prowess. Conclusion Admiral Zheng He was one of the most important explorers in world history. His seven voyages not only demonstrated the might of the Chinese Empire during the Ming Dynasty, but also opened up a network of trade and diplomacy that spanned much of the known world. Despite his explorations not leading to long-lasting global Chinese dominance, Zheng He's legacy as a pioneer of exploration and international diplomacy remains enduring. China's Withdrawal from Maritime Exploration After the death of Zheng He, around 1433, China gradually turned inward, and by the mid-15th century, the imperial government dismantled the naval fleets, ceased large-scale maritime exploration, and restricted foreign trade. Impact and historical importance. Diplomatic success. Zheng He's voyages established China's presence and dominance in the Indian Ocean, forging diplomatic relations with distant lands. Technological marvel. His fleet demonstrated China's advanced shipbuilding and navigational skills during the Ming Dynasty, with his enormous ships being the largest in the world at the time. Cultural and economic influence. The voyages resulted in a significant exchange of goods, ideas, and culture, connecting China with far-off lands in Africa, the Middle East, and Southeast Asia. Rediscovery of Zheng He Although Zheng He's achievements were largely forgotten in China during the centuries following his death, he was rediscovered by historians in the 20th century. Today, he is celebrated as a symbol of China's seafaring past and diplomatic prowess. Conclusion Admiral Zheng He was one of the most important explorers in world history. His seven voyages not only demonstrated the might of the Chinese Empire during the Ming Dynasty, but also opened up a network of trade and diplomacy that spanned much of the known world. Despite his explorations not leading to long-lasting global Chinese dominance, Zheng He's legacy as a pioneer of exploration and international diplomacy remains enduring.